Thank you for joining us for another 3CX user tips. Today, I'll demonstrate how easy it is to provision a router phone with 3CX version 20. Router phones come with 3CX SBC software built into their firmware, ensuring a seamless connection with the PBX without running into firewall issues. So let's get started. For this demo, we'll assume you don't have any 3CX SBCs or router phones set up yet. If you're repurposing an existing phone, please start by performing a factory reset. Step one, install the latest firmware for your phone. You can find the firmware download page for version 20 at the link below. This is a mandatory step as old firmware may not include the necessary SBC software. Once the firmware is successfully installed, proceed to factory reset the phone. Step two, log into the 3CX web client. Next, click on the admin icon. In the left-hand menu, navigate to users and select the extension you want to assign the phone to. In the user profile section, select IP phone. Click on configure a phone. Step three, configure the phone, select the appropriate phone model from the drop-down menu. Enter the MAC address of your router phone and finally click next. Step four, provision the phone. Under the configure, your phone section, choose connect directly. This ensures that your router phone acts as its own SBC. Afterward, click Add Phone. Perform one more factory reset on the phone. The phone will now automatically pick up its provisioning URL from the RPS server and the provisioning process will be complete. Well done, you have now successfully provisioned your 3CX router phone. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more 3CX user tips.